Thursday night at the Betty Engelstead Sioux Center. North Dakota falls to Northern Arizona, 85-75 in Big Sky Men's Basketball. This is your Midco SN postgame wrap. Greg Steeman and Dan Hammer and North Dakota was within five at the seven-minute mark of the second half, but then Northern Arizona extended its lead from that point. Thunder, Northern Arizona came in and played an exceptional game on the road, showed why they're battling for the top spot in the Big Sky Conference. North Dakota didn't play poorly at all. I thought they right. played pretty well at times. Lenny Antwi with a great effort in a starting role. Jerron Nash very active. Quentin Hooker productive. But it just wasn't enough and just some missed opportunities for North Dakota allowed Northern Arizona to create that separation. How about we take a look at the highlights? I think Back it's a great the idea. <laughs> Jerron Nash. <laughs> yeah. A lot of his best work is playing above the rim. It is. It's just being active. It's running the floor. It's getting himself in the mix. There you see a perfect example as he cleans up Quentin Hooker's miss. Terrell Drew finds Lenny Antwi, a guy who he said did have a good game start in a starting role tonight. That's right. Antwi starting in place of Eston Tyler. Free throws a real story. Northern Arizona, 26 of 30 on the ninth. Very, very impressive performance by them. And this young man, Craig Shields, a little personal 6-0 run in the first half to kind of spark North Dakota and get them back into the game. You talk about sparks. How about the one that Northern Arizona got from Akko Kaluna in the first half? The guy did it inside. He did it outside. And he just did it with the same expression on his face the whole time. Great performance by him. And Twee in double figures for the eighth time this season, including that three. And then late in the first half, North Dakota gets some points off the defense here, off the block shot. Exactly. We see Hooker attacking after Nash creates the, the uh, opportunity to go the other way. North Dakota trailed 42-36 at the half. Second half, Asim Dixon gets five quick points for the Lumberjacks. Exactly. Both of them courtesy of Chris Yonk. But then Lenny Antwi would answer back. He made three of his five three-point field goal attempts and finished with 15 yeah, for exactly. North Dakota. And when they took the three away, he hit a pull-up. I thought he had a very sound all-around game. But the story in the second half, the missed opportunities for North Dakota when, when they presented themselves. Oh, they had uh, a number of opportunities at the rim that they couldn't finish. And then uh, Northern Arizona pulls away. Look at that ball movement here. Just great spacing, great movement, and great feel for where your teammates are going to be. Northern Arizona made him pay, and Yanku once again in traffic oh. and one. Best player on the floor tonight was Northern Arizona guard Chris Yanku. North Dakota late with Jerron Nash above the rim, but Yanku uh, with just a, a gaudy line, 24 points, 12 assists, 16 of 16 at the line. Look at him distributing the basketball. Exactly. There's a couple of those double-digit assists, and you, you look at the difference in the game. They were both teams shot very similar, but there's two stats that just jump out at you, Dan. Yeah, one would be free throws, yep. and the other would be rebounds. Without question, and it's just that's the ability to finish. Northern Arizona got themselves in position to get to the free throw line, and when they did, they knocked them down. And North Dakota just not able to, to, to secure enough rebounds to take those opportunities away from Northern Arizona. One last chance for North Dakota to get another home conference win. That win, rather, that comes Saturday afternoon against Southern Utah after Thursday night's loss. UND now 1-7 at home in the big sky. For Greg Steeman, I'm Dan Hamry. That's your Midco SN postgame wrap.